everyone. So today's topic. So today's topic is a radiation pattern. Now, as we have already discussed, in a dipole or a rather a hydrogen dipole, there are basically two field. One is the PR field, which is given by this expression. The primary dependence here is on the radiation field. to be the electrostatic field. So we have got both, both the inductive field and the electrostatic field expression in ER. Whereas in E theta we can see we have got all the three fields. That is the radiation one by R field. by r square is the induction field as we explained in the previous class and r cube is the electrostatic field so this both r square r cube are the reactive field and phi is basically zero we have also seen that the primary dependence is on of the magnetic field, the magnetic field is basically uh, phi oriented and the expression is given by H phi. Here we are talking of the electric field E phi, uh, here it is I phi. So as we, as I clearly stated that there are three kind of fields, one, uh, one by R, one by R square and one by R cube as a whole. So now, If you want to draw the sketch of the fields as a function of the distance r and electric field E, the magnitude, what I mean. So you can plot down this 1 by r radiation field, 1 by r cube electrostatic field, and 1 by r, uh, 1 by r radiation field, uh, 1 by r cube electrostatic field, and 1 by r cube is the induction field. So if you plot it, you can see the slope as a function of R and E and we have also got the point, the point at which the radiation field, the electrostatic field and the induction field becomes equal and I'm sure you, yes you are right. The uh, point is R is equal to lambda by 6. Now, uh, as we have clearly stated before that uh, 1 by R is a radiation field and it is uh, and it is dominating in the uh, far field and so at higher frequency. Whereas the nearer field, this uh, uh, reactive field that is electrostatic field and the induction field is dominant. It is basically at low frequencies. So the plot which I was uh, talking about if you calculate the slope, so it obeys the electro, uh, this is 1 by r cube, r square, 1 by r square, and 1 by r. So the point, as you can see, the intersection point is basically nothing but the point is lambda by 2 pi. As a function of R and magnetic regulatory field. So at very close to Hertz and dipole, the field will be essentially electrostatic. In between induction, larger than lambda by 6, uh, lambda by 6, radiation field will be present field close to very very less than lambda by 6 is called near field that is er e theta h phi all will dominate 
field greater than lambda by 6 is the radiation field. It is called also called the far field or is very very greater than lambda by 6. Uh, now let us go for the far field. It's a near field. For far field, if we just take the radiation part and without taking the reactance part, you can write down E theta is equal to J I naught the whole term. H5 is equal to delta. Essentially, we have uh, two components, only theta and H5. is a function of angle on the dipole that is variation of e theta and h phi e theta and h phi are basically function of theta and phi isn't it and as it is a sinusoidal variation the field is maximum at theta is equal to 90 degree and minimum at theta is equal to 0 degree spherical plot is done in which radius vector is the amplitude of the electric field and if electric field E is plotted as a function of theta phi we get 3D surface called radiation. So E theta was given with the expression as already stated and including the constants taking the relative variation of the E field with respect to theta uh, same for phi we get E theta which is varying with k sin theta k for the constant electric field does not have any component, it's having no variation with respect to phi. So if you just want to plot the magnitude, so and theta is equal to 0, theta is equal to pi by 2, theta is equal to pi. If you take the 45 degree basis, now if you plot, you will get a pattern like this at this end. At this end. For that part also, you will get the same pattern. So basically, it will be a bidirectional, but it's okay. Let us calculate for one uh, part. So this is nothing but the magnitude is uh, k by root 2. Same here. In order to write down, it's always the same. Don't want to jump the part. So this part, theta is equal to pi by 2. It's a definitely k, which is the maximum. So this is a pattern which is calculated for a fixed phi, a fixed phi. So as you can, as you know, there are basically two plane, that is E plane and the H plane, or rather theta plane and the phi plane. So if you calculate for the whole phi, then it will be a complex uh, 3D pattern. So for taking a single pi, uh, phi, uh, the advantage is that you can uh, see the um, 2D pattern as well. If you are really interested in the 3D pattern, you can take whole of the phi and you can plot it.
the shape will come like a shape on the apple as I studied in the class because it is having uh, no radiation in the direction of the uh, orientation of the dipole. Now as you can see here for both, both the part. If the pattern is cut vertically, we will get the pattern. Variation of electric field is in theta plane and it is also called E plane radiation pattern. So this is E plane radiation pattern. And, and the other principal plane is the, uh, the uh, plane which is perpendicular to theta and that is a phi plane. It's a horizontal plane and it's called H plane radiation pattern. So this is an E plane. E plane and H plane are or rather E plane and H plane radiation pattern is used to describe the 3D complex 3D radiation pattern. Generally we used to take 2D. If you take the E plane, then it will become like figure of bidirectional actually, in which the dipole is oriented in this side. If we take it as a Z, so it's basically orientation of the wire along that uh, there is no power radiated, and that's why it was it was coming like a figure of apple as I wrote in the previous case. So you can see here in this direction, this is the maximum power which is uh, transmitted and at, as the maximum power is transmitted in a direction, therefore you cannot claim that this dipole is having uh, isotropic radiation property. It is not isotropic actually. It is having a preferred direction of radiation. If you see the H plane, it's very evident actually. In the H plane, uh, you, you will, you, the radiation was throughout. So it's actually isotropic along phi. So essentially, if you want to see the radiation pattern, here will be a major lobe. Maximum power is in this direction, and the direction of propagation, oh, direction of radiation. Sorry. So these are the side lobes, and this is the back lobe. If you take the, if you see the lobe, if you see this main lobe, then these are all the side lobes. Back lobe. So half power points, which is nothing but PY root 2, you know. If you just Join these two points. We are the change this angle theta. Just to say that this angle, which is formed from the origin, this this angle, let us say it is theta. Let us say this angle to be theta, and actually this is called not theta. This is actually a theta h p b w. That is the half power bending point. These are points where the power is zero. This is this is the first 
point and this is you can it is also called null so we, let us name this as the null one uh, then we have got null two no null one let us see it's null one then it's null two and for other also the points where there are no power you can just yeah see that this to be null three and so on there is really no field actually that is also null six anyhow so if you if you see this uh, point that is a uh, null one null two null three null four null five null six so between this uh, null one and null five Here there will be no field, field will be zero here. If you want to just take the angle from this null six, draw here. Let us see here. This is these are the two null points. So I will take this angle between these two. So this is called theta f and b l. That is, and this is the first point. So it is called first null limit. First null beam width. In, in problems, just to give and so on. We'll do one one of, the, one of uh, some of the problem of those. So this is all about the radiation property, radiation pattern as a whole. So let us go for this problem. An antenna has a field pattern E theta is equal to cos square theta, or theta is equal to zero. Let us go to nine degree five next meter. So it's a cos square variation.